Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a haul with Dress Lily. A lot of you guys have asked me to do a haul with Dress Lily and they did reach out to me. So of course I did accept and I'm gonna do this video for you. I thought I would try them out. I have heard they are connected to Rose Gals. So if you are a fan of Rose Gal, you will probably love Dress Lily. But let's go ahead and jump into this haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So first and foremost, I am a US size 20. Every once in a while I'm a 22, every once in a while I'm an 18, but I'm a pretty solid size 20. Most places I shop, that's what I get. From Dress Lily, I didn't realize at first that they were connected to Rose Gal. Like I had heard that in the past and I totally forgot. And I just kind of looked at the size chart and like went up one size. Um, but thankfully everything worked out because if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that Rose Gal, I normally order a 5X, sometimes a 4X. And I think every single thing in this haul is a 4X. But if you look at their website, most of the stuff... I would wear a 3X and honestly a lot of this was nicely sized enough that if I had gotten a 3X I still would have been able to get it on. They must be doing better at their sizing which I really do appreciate. So anyway I got a couple swimsuits, I got some dresses and some tops so we're just gonna jump in and I am 5'9 too just so you guys know for reference. Okay let's do this. Let's 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 do this. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top that I am wearing. This guy is so cute. It is that thin if you've ordered from Rose Gallery Dress Lily before, you probably know the kind of material that I'm talking about. It's really thin. There isn't a lining, but it is a really cute top. These websites are super affordable. They do sometimes take a minute for your stuff to come in. They do have different shipping options if you want it sooner, but sometimes it does take a little while. Sometimes it takes like a month for you to get your stuff, so just keep that in mind. But anyway, I really like this top. It comes with a little belt that you can tie or you can leave off. It's got the little ruffle. I like that it's kind of like a tank top, but it's got this nice light ruffle that will cover part of your arms. I'm one of those people, I don't love my arms. I've gotten much better about it recently, but it's still, it's still an insecure area because they are, I got the bat wings and it's just, I just feel more comfortable with like a little something, you know, and I feel like this top is really good for that. And it's nice that it has the belt so you can tie it to where your natural waist is to make it, you know, fit you correctly, or you can just leave it off and have it all nice and flowy. And that's really nice too. I like that there's a little, a bit of a V a v-neck but I thought it was a cute little floral pattern pattern <laughs> you guys know that I love floral I love pink so I thought I would give this one a shot and I actually really like it and it fits really nicely and again this is one of the items again everything I got in a 4x and there's nice it's nice and roomy like I you know I feel like it's perfect I like myself a little bit loose so it works up perfect for me but if you like it a little loose I would get one size up from your normal size all right, the next thing we're talking about is this little brown dress. This again is in A4X. And when I was filming the try on, I realized that for the first couple things I tried on, I, ooh, Binx is here. I did not put on lipstick, so don't mind that. Not that you guys are gonna care, you guys don't care. Nobody cares, only I care. So I really like this little dress. It fits pretty much perfectly. It's on the shorter side, but it's not like super short. Again, the floral, they have, if you like floral, you are like golden. You guys know how my style can go from one end to the other. I love like moons and suns and black, everything. And then I love like bright things and floral and stuff like that. And I feel like they have such a wide variety. For the plus size gals that love darker stuff and edgier stuff, kind of a goth style, there's also a bunch of options on there for you too. And I do feel like sometimes that's kind of hard to find. So I am thankful that they do have so many options truly for any anything for anyone. But anyway, this dress, super cute. I like the little buttons on it. Buttons just, I don't know, they always just add a little something. I don't know why I'm a sucker for buttons and pockets. Uh, I don't believe this had po pockets, sadly. Uh, I did like the ruffle at the bottom. The kind of tiered ruffles are always my favorite, so I really did like this dress. All right, next we have this white dress. This one was interesting because it does have, it's longer in the back and kind of two panels across and then there's kind of like a mini skirt. I feel like at my height, it was like just a little too short for me personally. But again, I am 5'9", so if you are short than me, it would probably work better for you. I just, there's like, I just felt like the way it moved that I would feel a little bit worried that it might, whoop, pop up but if I decided to wear it I would just wear it with some shorts or some tights that's always an option if you have something that's a little bit too short for you but the print on this one is absolutely gorgeous there was plenty of room honestly it was a little bit loose in the bust I do have a smaller bust for my size uh that's definitely a very common thing for me to have items be loose in the bust especially from Rose Gallon apparently dressily it does seem to happen it's not always but it is quite common so if you have a smaller bust like I do just keep that in mind if you really love something though you can always just take a little stitch under the arm or something like that to, you know, tuck it in, 
you know? I love a white with floral. I love all florals, okay? But I do think that my favorite is like white with florals and black with florals. I just love florals, okay? I just love florals. But the floral on this one is like chef's kiss. Cutest, 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 cutest. Ooh, this next one is a maxi dress. This one actually fit, I think, the largest of all of them. There was so much extra room in this one. I know you're shocked, another floral dress, but it's so cute. I love maxis like this. You guys know I've been on a maxi kick because I used to just not like them. I tried on a few like years ago and I just felt like they weren't loose enough. So they kind of just like did not accentuate my body in a good way. The elastic on my arms, I have narrow shoulders and extra extra bat wingy arms a lot of times things are a little bit tight on my arms that's that's like two of my biggest trouble areas on the top is a smaller bust for my size and then I've got a little extra I've got the chunkier arms a few little quirks about me just so you know I'm not trying to put myself down I've had some people like I'm just trying to like explain my issues with my body and how this is fitting me just so you know if you have larger arms or if you have narrow shoulders if you have a smaller bust or if you have a larger bust for your size I feel like these things will help you gauge it. Again, I'm not trying to like put them down. I very much accepted my narrow shoulders, my chunky arms, and my smaller bust. It is what it is. But I'm really just trying to, I feel like it's very important to explain my body and issues that I have when I'm trying on clothing. So it will help you if you have similar issues or the opposite issues. Or that way you'll know if something's going to be too loose for you or too big for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyway love this maxi it was a great length and because of my narrow shoulder sometimes stuff when it's off shoulder it just like slides right off but the elastic was both extra stretchy but also snug enough which I feel like that's uncommon to find but like it was just like the perfect amount of where I feel like it's going to stay in place but there was a lot of give if you have broader shoulders you're going to be golden on this one too and again it's another floral dress we know she loves florals I'm sorry you're probably sick of seeing florals but they just have so many beautiful floral dresses for spring and summer that I just I just have to just had to okay I think we'll do the tops and then we'll do this one wear so this next one is something that kind of I've said before I love moons and suns and like witchy vibe type things Halloween in October is like my favorite my absolute favorite and this guy's got little moons on it the only thing that disappointed me about this tank top is it's kind of that you know when you get a t-shirt that's like all over print and it's got a different kind of material than like a regular cotton t-shirt or a regular like jersey tank top and it's got like a different I don't want to say stiffer I guess there's like a little bit less stretch if you've ever gotten an all over print t-shirt then you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about what's funny is like it almost feels cheaper but usually all over print t-shirts are more expensive so I don't know it depends on how you look at it and what you like because you can tell it's just like all over printed because it's white on the inside and then printed on the back but I just like it's got the phases of the moon which I absolutely love and it's got these little strappies which I thought were so cute I love anything which if you add some little strappies to it I'm gonna love it 10 times more. It just is, it is what it is. I really like it. Um, it's just the material isn't my 100% favorite, but it's not gonna stop me from wearing it, you know? All right, next we have this little like jersey kind of top. It's kind of like, this one actually felt like it was a little bit loose because of the way that it was like kind of flowed out was nice, but it also kind of hugged my roll. I really like that it's got three, four sleeves. I feel like a top like this is perfect for summer. It is all over white, so if you don't feel like wearing white, I don't know if there were other colors. I only remember seeing this one, uh, but it is a common style of shirt. I'm sure you can find one somewhere, but this one is the type of material that I was hoping it would. It's very soft. It's very like thin. It feels like a really good quality shirt that you could buy pretty much anywhere. Like if you were going to tour it and buying a shirt like this, I feel like it would feel like this. It's good material. It's a good price. It fits nice. Like it's very comfy. The v-neck and it kind of has like a sweetheart kind of neck to it in a way. Um, and then it's got the little stripes on the sleeves which are cute as well. Again, very, very soft very cozy. Definitely one I'm going to get a lot of use out of. I love three, four sleeve t-shirts, especially in lighter colors for the summer because uh, it gets out real hot. Not that I'm going anywhere this summer, but you know, you know, you know. All right, my loves, we are down to the last two items, which are both swimsuits. <sighs> they are both so cute. I am super impressed with their swimwear. So impressed with their swimwear. I got both of these in a size 4X and the bottoms, I again, because I have a smaller top, it's hard for me when swimsuits come all together. Both of these weren't so loose on the top that I couldn't wear them. This one is the little tie-dye one. So cute. It does have three pieces to it. So there's the pink little top. This has padding in it. It was decently supportive. Again, I don't have a large bust, so it's not really something. As long as my bust isn't gonna fly out of it, 
And if it makes them look like they're actually there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I don't look super flat chested and my boobs aren't gonna like fly out of my top, then I'm content with the top of a swimsuit. This one I felt like fit really nice both on the top and the bottom. The only thing about this one is the bottoms. So it's a bottom, a top, and a skirt. And the bottoms aren't as full coverage as I would personally like them to be, but I like like super high-waisted full coverage bottoms. So as long as you're cool with that, plus you're gonna have the skirt on. So unless you flip up your skirt, no one's gonna really see. And it does have enough coverage. I have a long torso and I like them super high-waisted, but it's not so low coverage that I wouldn't wear it, but it's not my ideal bottom, but the skirt on it, this whole one is so cute. I've been wanting to get something tie-dye and I feel like it's so hard for me to find a tie-dye item that I, I feel like is me. And I feel like this one's definitely me. I really like the top of this. I felt like if I adjusted myself, it was actually made it look like I had a bust, which was nice. And there's padding in there. It's not gonna super lift you or anything, but you are gonna be secure in this swimsuit. Definitely feels like really great quality. Um, I would never, Think that this was like a discounted swimsuit you know this last one has got to be one of the cutest swimsuits i've ever seen in my life this one if you have a larger bust the support on this one it honestly felt almost like i was wearing a full bra you can kind of see that i think i kind of grabbed myself a little bit in the try on just to kind of show you that there is it's like a cup with a little bit of padding so you're going to definitely be secure my my girls were a little bit small for the top so i don't know how flat <laughs> how flattering it was for my girls in there you know but i felt secure like i was gonna stay in i didn't feel like i was gonna fly out it was a little bit loose in the bust so it's just so cute i love that it's got the little ruffles that kind of cover your arms the bottoms were like just enough. I wish that they were like a little bit higher, but again, that's me. I like to just like show like this much of my belly is where like my comfort zone is. Totally cool with wearing a bikini, but I like like high-waisted bottoms and a little bit longer of a top. So it's just like an inch off for me for what I personally find super comfortable, but it is so stinking cute. The little ruffles, and I feel like the little ruffles on the bottoms kind of distract from the chunk roll. Um, so if that's something you're worried about, I don't know, this one is just the, the, the look at this it's so cute like how how is it so cute i just had to try it even though i wasn't sure because i love ones with like little skirts uh but i'm just i just try and push myself all the time because the more i push myself first of all the more options you guys get to see and then it, it just it helps me <sighs> but i love it i think that is just cool thinking of cute all right, love. So that is everything from Dress Lily. Thank you so much again to Dress Lily for sponsoring this video. I do really appreciate it. Again, all opinions are my own. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. When, even if I'm working with a company, it's always going to be, you know, I never would commit to a video where I didn't have complete free speech about what I was talking about and how my experience was. Again, it does take a little while for your stuff to come sometimes, but I am impressed with the quality of the clothing. I'm really excited that the sizing seems to be getting much better across the board. Some of these items do have rose gal tags, so I do, they're still rose gal stuff. So I feel like rose gal, I have felt in the past, have gotten a little bit better at their sizing. Um, but this is just proof that both of them are getting a little better, which is so nice. Because uh, the the closer they are to real sizes, the more accessible they're going to be to women of all different sizes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe before you leave. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join the family. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I can't. I can't. This finger's all messed up from arthritis, so I can't, I can't, I can only do this on this hand. <laughs> Tried to do the double, but it just, it, 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 it doesn't work. Um, stuck on my hang top. Oh, my face is just, it's too tight on. Wow, you are being a little turdlet. I feel like I need some lip gloss. I thought I'm almost done with this, and now I'm like, I need lip gloss. I never put lip gloss on when I'm filming the try-on, because I don't want to get it on my clothing. <sighs> I love this lip gloss over the forever. We're gonna turn a turn. It's getting my toes. Hey, Finksy.